checklist inviting the art of inviting and there's multiple layers i'm going to go through them in a second and then we'll wrap it up then there's presenting then there's getting started then uh, then there's follow up then there's getting started then there's teamwork that's the seven steps in the what we do in the workflow of the business so let's talk about that first place where the rubber meets the road being inviting you would think because you're here we all are in this like fairy tale world. It's like warm and fuzzy and unicorns and rainbows, you know? And it's like, everybody here knows that it's great. It's like, why doesn't everybody know New Skin's amazing? Well, if they did know, they would be doing it. If they knew what we know, they'd be doing what we do. So why aren't they saying yes? Because they don't know. And so you think that you could go to somebody and say, hey man, listen, I'm doing New Skin. This is amazing. I can... You know, there, there's some people making lots of money on, on social media and you, you, I can show you how to do that. And man, there's anti-aging. We've got these devices. They're amazing. This year's going to be incredible. Company's about to release our fourth quarter earnings reports and it's going to blow people's mind. You got to get into this. You think you could call somebody and they go, what? I'm in. Yeah, dude, I'm in. That sounds amazing. But yet that isn't what happens. Why? Because when you're inviting somebody to new skin, you're not asking them for money. Unless you are, unless you're trying to sell a device. If you're trying to sell a Lumi Spa, if you're trying to sell a Galvanic Spa, if you're trying to sell some Sunless Tanner, if you're trying to sell some Age Lock Nutriol hair serum to your friends, to your guy friends because they're trying to hit on you and take you out on dates but their hair is too thin and you're like, bro, you need to do something about that. Whatever that is, right? If you're trying to sell that product and you're calling people to sell that product, then you are asking them for money. And you know what? That's a bottom-up approach, and that's okay. There's nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that at all. <clears throat> However, the average person makes their, their decision to purchase something between the 8th to the 12th exposure. Some people say the 6th to the 12th, but say 6th to 12th. Somewhere in that window, more than 84% of purchases are made. So what are you asking people to purchase? Are you asking them to buy something, a product, or are you asking them to buy you and your ability to lead that person to get what they want within the structure of our system, System 7? And if that's what you're inviting people into to actually join a new skin and build it as their own business, then you're asking for their time. You're not asking for their money. And time is the most precious commodity that we all have. And so people want to say no quickly when the most important thing that they have is being asked for. When we're in the grocery store and our children throw themselves on the ground like a lunatic, like a fish pulled out of water because they want a thing of Tic Tacs that's right there by the cash register. I'm convinced that Satan put those there, by the way. When they freak out about that, what's the first thing you say? No, come on, just get, pull yourself together. Just get in the cart. Just get out of the store, right? No. That's kind of what our people are like when we call and invite them to the business. We, we're kind of like throwing ourselves on the floor at the cash register and saying like, come on, you got to do this business. You can make some extra money. Come on, just join me. I just need somebody to join my team, please. Come on, come on. Age lock is amazing. And they're like, dude, no, like calm down. Calm yourself down. Get in the cart and just, you're embarrassing me now. Like it's kind of how our prospects can react to us, right? So there's layers. So when you're inviting somebody, just know there's multiple layers to the process of them feeling comfortable and confident to say yes to you with their time. And so in your invite, the five C's of inviting, again, start with the end in mind, which is commit to the time. Before that is control yourself. Before that is to um, create curiosity. Before that is to compliment the person. And before that is to clear the time. So if you end knowing you're going to commit somebody to a time where you're asking for their time to do something with you, then before you commit them to the time, you're going to have to control yourself. Well, how are you going to control yourself? What, what, what do you mean control myself? Stop talking after you have invited them to take a look at it by your create curiosity step, right? When will you have created curiosity after you've complimented them so that they know they matter as a person and it's not just about you getting them in your deal, right? And then that's only going to come after you've cleared the time. So 
clear the time. And it's not just, hey, you got a second to talk. It's clearing it again, right? So here's how my invite would sound. My business partner, Charlie, this afternoon is going to be doing a presentation at 7 p.m. Just so you know, it's my context um, uh, for some of my team. And so today I'm working with people in my team between now and 7. That's 7 p.m. Uh, South African time, by the way. So we've got like another three, another two and a half hours before that. I have scheduled calls to talk with people between now and then. As I'm on those calls, I'm going to ask those people, hey, um, how much time do you have available right now? They're going to tell me. I'm going to say, okay, cool. I've got about 20 minutes. By the way, what are you doing tonight at seven o'clock? Uh, I don't, nothing, just watching TV. Okay, cool. Cool. Well, now I know that person's available at seven o'clock. So if they like what I'm getting ready to tell them, how I could help them make money, that when they say, I want to know more, now I know I can invite them to the seven o'clock and they're going to say yes, because I already know they're available and they know I know they're available because they already told me, Hey man, you got a minute to talk right now? Yeah, I do. Cool. What are you, are you not right in the middle of something? Oh yeah. Well, I'm actually at the vet and checking my dog and I got to put my dog down. We've had it for 14 years. God, the kids are, oh man, they're just crushed over this. That would not be the, the right time to move to the next C, which is compliment them and then create curiosity, right? Uh, I'd go, oh my gosh, man, it's a bad time. Let me call you back. But if they say, I'm totally available right now, man. I'm, I'm good. I'm just, I'm just driving. Uh, I've got I've got two hours. I'm driving. I'm totally good. What do you got? Oh, cool, man. Well, listen, I, I just, I was just thinking about you. I actually didn't know that I'd catch you. I just, man, I watched your life over the last couple of years. I caught bits and pieces here in social media and we've caught up and you're just somebody that I admire. And man, I set my goals for the year and I wrote down, you know, 10 people that I want to spend more time with this year and who I admire. And you're one of those. So I figured I'd call you touch base with you, but I am calling for a specific reason. I'm doing something with business that I'd love to share with you if you've got a minute to talk business and that's okay. Yeah, dude, what do you got? I mean, you just flattered the crap out of the person. They're like, dude, yeah, yeah, what are you doing? Well, listen, I, I don't know if you've seen anything that's going on in my life lately with, you know, my social media, but, you know, in, in, in what's going on in the world with all this turbulent and like, you know, unstable time, I found a way to really kind of recession proof my business. I, uh, I found a way to build a business that I can really operate online from anywhere in the world and it's in the industry of anti-aging with some very innovative products and technologies and things like that. And, and uh, my company is projected to grow by several billion dollars here in the next few years. Um, man, do you keep yourself open to, to business opportunities outside of what you're doing? Most people go, dude, I'm totally open. What do you got? Now you control yourself. They've asked a question. Now you're in step number three. You've created curiosity. You stop talking. You don't answer the questions. The questions are confirmation that they're interested. And this is where everybody blows it. It's like, ha, huh, they asked me what I do. I got to tell them about AgeLock. I got to tell them about the Lumi Spa. This thing's amazing. It's got a different head. This guy named Charlie had terrible eyes and he put on the accent and it tightened up his eyelids. It's amazing. You know, control yourself. You're like a Labrador retriever fetching the ball for the 45th time, slobbering on everybody. Okay. So you've said something interesting. They said, tell me more. Go, well, listen, that's, that's actually why I was wondering what you're doing at seven. I'm so excited to know that you're available. My business partner, guy that I've worked with for a little while now, has been wildly successful. And uh, I've asked him to, I've asked him if it's okay for me to, to, uh, to set up a video conference with him to kind of lay out what we do. And I'd love for you to come on. Could you, are, would, would, is there any reason that you couldn't join me at 7 p.m. for a live webinar to just kind of see and hear what it is that I'm doing and working on? Well, do I to, yeah, I mean, I told, I told you I'm available at 7. Cool. I'm going to send you a link. Um, are you, you comfortable with Zoom? You ever been on Zoom before? Yeah, yeah, I'm on Zoom all the time. Okay, cool. So you know how to log in? Yeah, I know how to log in. Okay, I'm going to send you this link right now. Just let, make sure before we get off that you got it. You got it? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I got the Zoom link right here. Okay, and the password, you see the password? Yep, got it. All right, cool, man. Well, listen, um, dude, I'd love to catch up with you more. Um, when you come on here, will you make sure that you unmute and say hello and let me know that you're on? Yeah, okay, cool. 
Well, right on, dude. Well, listen, again, I didn't know if I was going to get much time with you. Do you have more time to catch up on a personal note or you need me to let you go? Just open the door to actually be that person's friend and stop talking new skin and talk about something, you know, personal. But also at that point, that would be a really good time not to give yourself enough rope to hang yourself and get off the call, right? Man, listen, I I didn't expect to get you. I would love to catch up with you more. I look forward to seeing you at 7 p.m., um, I've got the rest of my evening open. After the webinar is done, let's jump on another call and talk a little bit about what you hear. I'm going to be on with you. But um, yeah, again, I'd love to catch up with you more. So let's, so let's make sure that we have some time after the call so we can uh, catch up more on a personal base. Is that cool? Yep. Guys, in the time that I've been on this, I haven't even been on this 20 minutes and I, and I did that in a matter of a few minutes. That's really what inviting is. That's inviting. That's our job. That's a skill to get good at. There's people typing in here, hey, I hope you're writing, would you write this word tracking for us? Well, you may not know my story, but I'm a bit of an overnight success in new skin. It only took me 12 years to get to Blue Diamond. I've talked to lots of people. This stuff is it's somewhat second nature to me now, but it wasn't in the beginning when I was wanting to eat my marshmallow right away. So if you're hoping that you can just get this perfect so you can just eat that marshmallow, you may, you may want to look in the mirror on that and just a little bit of delayed gratification can go a long way. What I'm talking about is take this technique that I've just laid out, which is a principle-based technique. This is something Nathan Ricks, who started OTG, created long, long time ago about the five C's of inviting. And so it's something that you'll develop as a skill and you'll get good at over time. You start today, where could you be in 90 days? You get a list of 2,000 and you do 10 today and you do 10 tomorrow and you do 10 the next day. In 90 days, you've gone through 900 invites. Not, not somebody who goes and talks to four people, gets four no's and quits. You are worth more than that. You are more capable than that, and you are tougher than that. So if you had some people tell you no, awesome. Congratulations. Welcome to the party, man. Welcome into the clubhouse. All right? I'm Nick Weinecker. Hope this has been valuable. I'll see you guys.